This is a question asked by a man, and in fact, I've been asked this question a few times by different men. And this question is, is it normal to look at women on the streets and fantasize about them? Different variations, but pretty much this is the question. Is it normal to look at women? Hi, my name is Martha, I'm a clinical sexologist with a doctorate in human sexuality, and I'm from Eros Coaching. As a sexologist, I'm very privileged and honored to hear the hearts and concerns of the men in the world that we live in. And the questions that they ask has to do with their uncertainty as men or as to how they should behave. Because we know of men who go at women and we glare at them and stand them and it makes women feel uncomfortable. We're not talking about that kind of stare. We're talking about another kind of stare. When you look at something beautiful, you cannot help but appreciate it. When we look at a beautiful painting, we stop, we marvel at the artistry behind it. And it feeds something within us. It makes us light up because we are reminded that we are all divine. And something touches us. You might have also listened to American Idol or Americans, America's God's Talent. And we sometimes start crying at how beautiful these people can sing. And this is something, this is divine in us that is being touched. So when you look at somebody who is beautiful, you cannot help but admire. And it's okay to admire, to glare, to snare, to go, to make wolf whistles. This would make the person feel uncomfortable. And this is when the objectification, the sexualization of someone comes in. It's almost as if these people, the men, are so uncomfortable with being swept away by all these emotions or horniness um, that comes upon them that they feel that they have to deny being human, to deny their sexuality, to deny their sexual urges. Having sexual urges and feeling horny is not going to make you rape someone. We have the ability to control ourselves. Instead of turning it into something really negative, how about sitting with that horniness and turning it into something beautiful, for instance, in the form of genuine appreciation? How about if you gave a compliment to someone? I have been the subject of both ends of it. One makes me feel dirty and wish that I wasn't born and makes me hate men. The other makes me light up and feel bigger, become bigger, like my energy field becomes bigger. And it makes me actually want to get to know this person because this person had the courage to appreciate me. I have clients who are married who say, I can't do that because um, I don't want them to think I'm coming on to them and it's not appropriate and I might get into trouble. You can give appreciation and if this person tries to get to know you, you have your power to say, you know what, I just wanted to appreciate you. I want you to know that I'm not available and I just wanted to appreciate you and your radiance, your beauty inspires me to smile and come up to you and just compliment you on that. Isn't that lovely? When we spread that beauty and compliments around, the world becomes a better place. There is healing that is happening. There is healing for all the number of times in which we were objectified and not given genuine masculine attention. It's beautiful when men who are strong in their masculinity can step forward and say these kinds of things. And I know this video and the way I'm talking about it is all about men, but it can also be the reverse. 
Okay, I'm not talking about gender here. It just happens that this question is often asked by men. As a woman, I have gone up to men and told them, you look really nice in what you're wearing. And then walk away. I have done that. Maybe not so often, but when I became aware of the power of compliments and appreciation, I started to do that. And I've also done this to other women. As a woman doing this to another woman, we appreciate beauty. And so when I say something like this with totally no agenda and they know it, they can sense it, it lights them up and there is healing that has taken place. And I'm saying this because I get this idea to do this because other women have done that to me. And they say, I really love your dress. Where did you get it? That is a beautiful compliment too. And so uh, sometimes they don't want to know where I, where, they got, where I got my dress from. Sometimes they just, they just say they like the way my dress looks on me. That's even more beautiful. <laughs> and so in this video, I want you to know that you have permission to look. Try not to stare, try not to be inappropriate. And then there's a suggestion you can always give appreciation if you want to, so that you don't come across as sleazy. Be comfortable with your masculine energy, be comfortable with your sexuality and feeling horny and staying with it. It's not going to make you weak. By breathing into it and owning it, it actually makes you feel more powerful. Try it. Instead of being scared and overwhelmed by your sex drive, claim it, embrace it. It is part of you. People who are scared of their sexual energy, who are scared of their sexual power, shut it down. And in so doing, we're shutting down our brilliance, our creativity, and our inspiration. And I certainly don't want that for you. I don't want you to be a fearful person. So this is Dr. Martha Tarali of Arrows Coaching. I'd love to hear from you. You can email me and it is at ask at arrowscoaching.com. Thank you.